Hey, what's up guys? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So here we are at the trade deadline in a season that had some ups, but uh, also some downs. <laughs> we are a middling team. Seven points out of the playoffs, but the fact of the matter is we have to leapfrog three teams at least to get into the playoffs. That's tough. That is, it's tough. And uh, I wouldn't buy pieces to try to get there. At least pieces that we couldn't use long term. And that didn't really seem to be what would be available here at the trade deadline. Right? So... Yeah, it's not not looking too good. We've tried a few different things like free agency wide, and now we're trying Kraus up. We'll put Michelli down. We don't have a very good top six, even though it's decently balanced now. We don't have necessarily the star power. Only one star is Keller, really. And uh yeah, not gonna not gonna do it for us. Ghost despair, ghost despair, whatever. <laughs> ghost bear. Um, he has already begun to decline, which is crazy at age 31, but it can happen. We've seen some weird stuff, which is, that's bad. We have to, I have to try to get rid of, get out from under that contract ASAP, just cause as we're trying to win. So, but for selling wise, really our one piece to sell is Kerfoot. Uh, other than that, we don't really have that much. We'll check out what the uh, um, values are on some people with, like, expiring deals or short-term deals that we could maybe shed. I'm going to hold on to Tarasenko. He's uh, doing decently, 46 points. I don't think... Oh, we got him on the first line now. So maybe we're going to be able to get him a little bit of stat growth so that we can flip him for like really good money. I'm holding on the schmaltz. We could probably get him to a cheaper deal next. Uh, at least I'm hoping. My hope is he could become a solid 3C for us. And 29 doesn't really affect us. We're hoping to turn things around within like one, two years, right? So yeah, I'm not too worried about him being 29 or anything like that and not being a solid part of the core. Kerfoot does not have a ton of value. Not at all. With retention, we may be able to get a second. Well, that's a big if. All right, so Ducks want him. Any kind of mid-teams want him? Where the second might actually be good? No, probably not. Ah, Columbus. So Columbus is probably the best suitor. LA is not bad either. That ain't happening. Yeah, so it'll have to be like a late second, just a value second, so I can maybe package it. That's what it's looking like. Oh, that's Nashville's. Their pick. Even that. They gotta have space, though. Oh, Jer what the hell is happening to New Jersey? Jeez, man. They are atrocious. Of course, they don't have a second. We could go for their next year's second. This actually might gain value. We do have a lot of seconds for this year, I, I believe. Fuck, I know. We have five. <laughs> I don't need them. Yeah, let's grab... Try to grab Pittsburgh's for a retained Kerfoot. Ooh, okay. I got some junk. I could throw in a seven, but I also have junk. Like Cox. Take some Cox! Yeah! All right. So, uh, done and dusted. We got next year's second, which I actually prefer. They could be shit next year, right? Crosby, Malkin, Latang, they all get a year older. Throwing O'Brien. Move up McBain. Yeah. Easy enough. Uh, that's kind of it. <laughs> We're holding on to Jersey. Holding on to Sederstrom. Holding on to Moser. I don't think we can find a suitor for Ghost of Spare right now. I really don't. I don't like signing guys and immediately trading them either. I like to use them at least for one year. 
We can take a look. There are teams that technically want him. But it's the cap issue. Oh, shit. Eh. They don't really need them. They're actually pretty freaking good. Do they have anyone I want? No, not really. Of course they don't. <laughs> it's Vegas they got. Oh, hello. Artu Kerki is actually pretty good. Holy shit. Would fit into my top pairing. That doesn't really help because he's 79 at 20. Like he could actually be a solid, a really, really solid top four guy. That still leaves us with needing a top two, obviously, but. Ah, they'd be over cap, yeah, because this guy's AHL. Shoot. Do they have anyone buried that I could also take? It's Vegas. They have to by this point, right? Ah! What do I do? Oh, wait, why don't I just go salary? <laughs> um, not really. Wait. Oh, I'm on defenseman. Hold up. Barabanov? Kinda? He's got no value. He's on the NHL team, but he's not. They don't want to give him up. Contract's atrocious. Amadio, but then they have Howden. He could easily play there. Or Kolasar. Yeah, why are, you, why are you trying to hold on to all of them? Give me... I'll try to get someone who's actually kind of good. How did no? Oof. <laughs> ah, no, 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 not Colasar. Ah, son of a bitch. Uh, Amadio. What? Damn. It'd still be over cap. Ah. I am not rotating for two years after this. <laughs> that is simply not happening. Uh, uh, shit. What? They'd still be? Oh my god, by 74k? Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, <laughs> it's so close. It's so close. I don't know if I can make it happen. Son of a beach. Yeah, down here it's no. Nah. Those won't count. It was pretty trash. But I don't think he'll push it over because he's AHL. Yeah, I think he's on two. I didn't check if it was two-way or not. I just tried it. I don't think this we make this happen like that. That's... Huh? That has to be... It still says it's not league approved. I'm taking... No, no, yeah, this ain't working. That's not working. Uh, yeah, that, that's what this is what I mean by like looking to make these kind of trades in the offseason because it's so, so hard here at the deadline. The teams that want and could use this guy, they can't afford him. Besides Detroit, boy, ah, they're going to have some. Oh, my God. Hold on. Who? They got Cider, Tanov, Edvinson. Man, because they're doing this well, you could make a slight argument that they would maybe trade a prospect to get better. That being said, they don't have an excess 
So Palika is like less of a less of a expendable for them. Oh yeah, and that's wouldn't go through. Way too much value. Damn. And that's really their only prospect. They have some top fours, but it's not like it's not like the other guy. Yeah. It's eh, <laughs> it's not like the other guy. Damn it. Oh, Vegas. Okay, well. Yeah, that ain't that ain't, I don't I don't think that can happen right now. At least not. I mean, I could just grab picks and junk like that. And then flip the picks. That's always a possibility. But. Yeah. It might be a good idea too. Simply because. We can make our own pick worth more. By losing more games. Alright. Alright. Let me look. Um, yeah. I, could, I, I if, if I could somehow make the trade go through at the deadline. It's. It would make more sense. Alright. So we'll go past Detroit. Because they. Why? I mean, I understand for the future, but, like, why now? Well, why in general? You have a top five that looks like that. This game's stupid. <laughs> Maybe they had some expiring guys. I don't know. And stop at San Jose. Doug Wilson is no longer the GM. Stop wanting dumb trades like that. All oh, this sucks. Yeah, it's just. It's honestly not really plausible. Here's the crazy thing. Like, we were only over. They're only over by 500K, right? I was taking back almost three mil. And I'm trying to do the deadline math in my head. But I'm pretty sure, like, two thirds or three fourths of three mil. Is not 557k. So I don't know how they were still over cap with that trade. It pisses me off. Because they fucking shouldn't be. And I don't understand how they were. I really don't get it. It makes no fucking sense that they were still over cap when I threw in Barabanov and Amadio. That's oh that's three hundred that's three million six hundred K. 675. How are they still? It even shows them as under cap. Oh, this game sucks, man. Jesus. I want Kirky. This game fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, this game's so bad. All right. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna have to wait. Like, there's, it's, it's, it's just too hard to trade that sort of a contract at this at the deadline when teams, you know, who are pushing are gonna have filled caps up anyway. Right? They already spent on free agency and stuff. Um. I'll take one more look at anything else that I po might possibly sell, but I don't really think we have it. Actually, we'll look at values. That's the best. Ah. Yeah, we're not trading Gunther. Not trading Schmaltz. Not trading Kraus yet. Not trading Moser. Yeah, again, and none of these are sell pieces. Some of them are like, oh, I would package this guy in a trade to get something I really need. Yeah, no, this ain't it. Okay. Oh, we could trade Goaltender, actually. Hold on. I didn't even think of that. Connor Ingham doesn't have some doesn't have too bad of a a cap hit. Neither does Ve Melka, but <laughs> he's got no value. Ingram though, man. <sighs> he's been consistent on a bad team. I'm actually I'm I'm just curious if he's actually good at simming. I don't know if this is worth it. I'm going to get a second for him. And for an 86 goaltender, a guy who can sim well, can steal games in the playoffs. I'm not doing that. I'm actually not going to do that. 
If we have to give him up, we have to give him up. I can trade him next year for the same thing. He's got an extra year. All right, so that's going to be our deadline. We tried some other stuff besides just the one minor trade, but it doesn't. Wasn't really meant to be. We have tons of seconds. This is all stuff. Like, yeah, we're probably packaging together again and maybe to get like a really solid, a couple really solid prospects if we can manage that. And again, that could just be more trade value for us. Some, you know, some prospects we might keep, develop, but a lot of them we're going to try to trade for the right pieces right now. Because while we're not in a rush necessarily, you don't want to wait too long. Clayton Keller is 26. Schmaltz is 29. Tarasenko is short term. Gunther 21. Like, yeah, we're still all right. All right. Now, I did see a suggestion to move up Cooley because uh, he's producing well. It's a possibility, but I also want to keep him where he is because he's producing so well <laughs> and keep him growing. We're not, I'm not concerned about how he performs this year. I'm concerned about how he develops. Hopefully gain some goddamn X factors. So I'll keep him in his role with, uh, and performing as he is. So we're not going to tank, obviously, at all. We made our team slightly worse, so we might actually be better in the sim. And hey, maybe we, maybe we go on a miracle run and make the playoffs. Best of both worlds. <laughs> and as I say that, a top four defenseman goes down with injury. Rip. Okay. Have fun there, gross. That would beat New Jersey. It'd be pretty sad. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you for waving Corpus all away to sack. No. Maybe, though. All right, let me do some scouting real quick and see if we could go on a miracle run after. All right, continuing on here. You know what I just realized? EA might, might be off the hook. Was that trade notification? I was just looking at the red. Did it in, 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 in any possibility, did it say they'd be over cap for next year? Because then EA would be forgiven. And I'm sure someone will have pointed that out by now. But I don't know. <laughs> I just, I assumed it was saying it was uh, for this year. So we'll see. We'll see. Someone probably already typing up that comment right now. They paused the video. They typed it up. They sent it. You're like, you fucking idiot, Sin. It said it was for next year. Read. <laughs> All right. I can tell. Oh, my God. We're winning. Joel Armia. No. Nah. Not like a huge game changer. Zuber. Uh, Tampa Bay have fired Cooper. <laughs> uh, okay. Keep best lines in AHL. Tough losses there. Yeah, no, no, no. We we had a moment where it looked like maybe, but then, yeah, the, those losses right there sunk us for sure. We'd have to win out, and even then. Oh, wait, we beat the Stars. Ah, oh, you lose to fucking Pittsburgh. Son of a bitch, yeah, no. Uh, no, we were actually not particularly close, I don't think. Oh my god, no, not at all. Yeah, again, if we won all of these games, then yes, we would be in. But like I said, yeah, we'd have to win out. Good luck making that happen. It's not even like just this month. We'd have to win that game against Toronto, too. Right? I'm mathing right. Yeah, eight points. Yeah. <laughs> so we end the season 500. 38, 38, and something. Six. So let's see. What's the culprit? Offense. Offense is, well, it's both. But, like, this team I felt like could have scored three goals per game. Over three goals per game. And they didn't. In fact, I think we had the second worst offense in this division. Nope, not good enough. Power play wasn't bad, but it needs to get to 20%. Penalty kill continued to fall throughout the year. At least we had a positive home record. But yeah, 4-6-0 in the last 10. Like, we needed... <clears throat> we needed to make a push. I'm not even going to see how we compare to other teams. We're not... We're not that... We're not that yet. Dude, Schmaltz had 69 points, man. <laughs> That's not bad at all. He's actually... That point total at 86 may get him stat growth, may gain him more X-Factors. Tarasenko, 63. 
as an 86. I don't know if that gives them some stat growth. I'm hoping it gives them a little bit. A little bit of bump. Maybe, hey, you don't get his own. No, he's not getting his own ability. But um, get a little bit of something. Boost your value up a bit. Cooley, 63 points. Not, nothing wrong with that. I love that production for him. There's a 20-year-old on the second line. That's tremendous. This is rough, though. Gunther worrying me a little bit. 9.7 shooting percentage. Oof. Buddy. You got to be so much better than that. He needs, he needs better on shooting abilities. Close quarters is well and good, but it's, it's OP initial. <laughs> but it is not good in, in franchise mode. He needs, he needs something better. And he's at the overall. Like he's 87 now. You see he gained magnetic. Again, that's all well and good, but eh, it's not really great in the sim. Uh, Michelle, not too bad. 48 points. Kraus, 45 points. 27 goals. He was our leading goal scorer. Uh, Doan, 40 points, man. Not horrible. 23, though, now, right? He needs a lot more. Wasn't a bad year for him. But he needs to jump quick. Goss Despair had 49 points. Not too bad. But he's declining. We got to get rid of him. Both goalies were 904. Uh, they Melka got the points I wanted out of him out as a backup, so he was a fine backup for us. He may, in fact, be someone I keep. He's off contract, but I might be able to him to a cheap-ass deal. Speaking of which, I can check that right now. Hey, Melka, do you want a cheap-ass deal? If you don't, I might let you go. Because you're not worth that much. That's defenseman. <laughs> ben Malkin does not want a contract. That doesn't matter because he will. Oh, my God. Pardon? Okay. I can get him for literally 850k for two years. Yes, you are interested. The game lies. Doesn't matter if they say no, you can still 15% them. Unless they patch that some way, but I don't think they did. <laughs> EA patching things. Imagine. Fucking imagine them patching franchise mode. <laughs> oh my god. You see that? I thought this was a real game for a second. That's crazy. Alright. Um. Whew. Let's check progress supports here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get depressed about Ghost Despair. Kraus already has some stat growth. Should get more. Uh, That's unfortunate. Gunther and Cooley both grew up by one, but nothing from Doan. God damn, with all those good teaching coaches, huh? Josh Doan. He might honestly have to get traded. I don't want to because the name of Doan carries some weight around the franchise. It's not, of course, the Coyotes, but... He's a playmaker, right? He's a playmaker. It's not, it's not exactly it. And the system. Caden Lindstrom, pretty decent growth. Again, sometimes 18-year-olds don't grow at all. And I always tell everyone, don't panic. That can happen. Like Dickinson. He'll probably get a solid jump. Uh, goaltender Eberle went from 47 to 53. Not, not tremendous, but not bad. Uh, Nystrom. Solid. He needs to have another solid jump to continue to be on pace. Shubisov. Oh, yeah, that's pretty fucking good. He was a sixth rounder. Geeky, 76 at 20. What, probably another playmaker? We have so many playmakers. Uh, Korhonen getting growth is actually quite good. He's probably going to be a backup of the future. Maverick Lamoureux, man. I think he's going to end up being a tweener, but I'd love it if he just... Slowed down at 79.80 and became a solid top six. Because he's not going to become a true top four with this trajectory. Six foot six. What a unit. And uh, Ratu. Again, they hate Finns. They make him terrible defensively all the time. Even though Finns are going to be better than Swedes defensively because they play on a hybrid ice. And not the quote-unquote international wide ice. It's a hybrid ice. Anyway. Slight bitch aside. A decent year for growth. <laughs> Not so much in the NHL, but what can you do? You can't go in and edit players like you can in 2K10. Speaking of which, get ready for some 2K10, guys. 
Streams too, baby. That's all I'm gonna stream. Fuck NHL 24. I'm gonna stream old, old, old NHL games. <laughs> um, do we get any cool steals? There's another probable low elite. This is a stacked low elite draft, but they're all coming in the late first, and that is early late first. I mean, yeah, what I mean by it's like a mid late first. 22 is not late by any means, really. So you can call that mid late. Possible medium elite steal. In fact, I'm going to put another scout on him right now. Top six, top six at best, maybe. Way outside range. Goaltender. Maybe. That's ah, a goalie, but yeah, maybe still. Bunch of goalies. Fucking pin all the goalies. Trade value. See how early that one is? This is this is going to be a, a thinner draft. You can tell. Low elites appearing at tw at the in the at twenty to thirty, and not yeah. That's 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 pretty early. And then another low elite, the five year ETA low elite appearing just outside one hundred. Not a whole lot of hope for this guy, but he is nineteen with five year. That's a bit more hope. So we will do that and then pin him as well. Other lows that could still be one. He's early enough, but. That's interesting. That's when you pin for sure because of where the other guys are at. Although he is 19. Five year ETA. That can't be anything good. What the fuck was the other guy's ETA? He also five year. Okay, okay. Interesting. Of course it was five year. What am, eh. I just <laughs> I was just breaking down how thinner drafts will make those five year ETA low elites appear <laughs> in that range. Anyway. Um and then nothing for the in the way of defenseman. Okay, but we got an idea of what's coming. And a little bit more scouting work could net us some pretty good stuff. And when it comes to pins, we got quite a lot pinned right now. But some of the guarantees are pretty damn good. This gem especially. Two year ETA OFD, man. I'm this is this is the guy we'll probably get with our own pick. Try to package some of the Man. We have to probably pick and choose. This guy's three year ETA, but like this guy with because he has gem. I think he has to be my guy. ETA wise, yeah. Like we're still gonna have to get better, you know, defensemen for now, but man, if he if he develops, like he could come out of nowhere. If he develops, man, if he becomes a true top two OFD, oof. we'll see. But that will almost wrap things up. I didn't show you guys the league stats, did I? Look at me. Look at me go forgetting stuff. Let's see. Oh, my God. Okay, that was Winnipeg. It's like, oh, my God, we're back in horrible NHL times. Uh, Pasternak, 114 points. Marner, 113. Nylander, oh my god. First round exit. Um, also unrealistic, Marner's never had 100 points in his life. Uh, McDavid, 104 points. Gee, like, yeah, McDavid getting outscored by Matthews, Marner, Nylander. Sure, game. Sure. Matthews, 58 goals. Assist leader, Nylander, gets his number. And so his next year, you're gonna, gonna renegotiate his contract and give him 11.88 mil now. All right, who's the most clutch? Oh, it's a lot of game winners from them, but mathematically, it's fucking Lowry. Jesus, <laughs> almost one out of every two. Power play goal leader. Sebastian Ajo with 19 power play point totals. Pasternak with 35. Merchant. Um, Shorty is Lowry with 5. Jeez. Dude. And he had like 9 game. I wonder if any of those Shorties were game winners. They had to have been. He only had fucking 19 goals. Mathematically, you'd think so. 7 Shorty points. What a beast Adam Lowry is. If only you had a better goalie in the playoffs. Alright, let's check the uh, possible Selkie guys here. Uh, there you go, Crosby. He's my he's my front runner right now. The other guys, in my opinion, didn't have enough faceoffs. 
Matthew's in the conversation. Well, if he's in the conversation for goal scoring and for the Selkie, why isn't he in the conversation for the heart? <laughs> um, Barkov, 56.7, yeah. Barkov and Crosby, it'll probably go to Barkov. And I can't deal with the menu lag anymore. Um, this is illegitimate. Skipping. Jesper fucking Wallstead. Whoo! Holy shit! He's just far and away the best. Give him the Vesna Gil, give him the William M. Jennings. Just, just no contest. No contest. Holy crap, Jesper. Uh, Marco Casper, Josh Doan, man, like he he was in the he was in the hunt, man. He was in the Calder hunt. It'd be really cool if like being in the top three of like of awards is like you know young talent actually contributed to growth. You know, just like little cool things like that. I don't know if they do. I mean, we don't know anything. We just assume and and guess. But if there's a way to you know, ch yeah, you know, there's a lot of a lot of things just need to be more in depth here. Rookie goalies, okay. If they do not, if they do not, I had the fucking clap to announce it. If he does not get to Calder while winning the Vesna and the William M. Jennings, he's 22. That is a young goalie. It's a 46 point, 21 year old. Oh, game. Oh, game. If you don't do this, if, if you fuck, if you fuck on me game, don't you dare soft leak. No one hit 200. No one had 200 hits. Uh, six guys. No one hit 20 fights. Soft. No one hits 20 fights these days. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh man. All right. So now we're done, right? I got nothing else to do. So draft will be in the next episode, and we will find out if the game hates goaltenders. I'll see you guys there.